Hello YouTube, this is Neon. I'm going to title this talk today, Mark Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg and the $100 million gift. Okay, so Mark Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg, sorry, um, not intentionally mispronouncing this gentleman's name, he is the founder and CEO of Facebook. Today he is worth many many billions and tens of billions of dollars in to the best of my knowledge and I've read three articles online about this okay I'm not an expert on this and I didn't read all of the articles to be quite frank <laughs> in 2010 Mark Zuckerberg had given a hundred million dollars to the Newark, Newark, New Jersey public school system to help make their school system a shining example of how it can really meet the needs of poor, underrepresented, predominantly people of color who really don't have equal opportunity in this country. This gift was matched by other contributors and it came close to equaling about two hundred million dollars shortly around the same time that that this donation was made okay, it was made very public it was made with Zuckerberg Governor Chris Christie and then Mayor, the Mayor of Newark, who I, I, I forgot his name, it was made on the Oprah Winfrey show this announcement versus to the people of Newark that it's supposed to be helping. It was made, this, this hundred million dollar donation was made approximately the same time that a movie came out called The Social Network. The Social Network talked about basically how Facebook was founded it was a movie that was released as I understand it it was on the big screen and it was a movie that did not make Mark Zuckerberg look good at all it called into question his the type of person that he is it is a movie I have not seen as I understand, the movie basically denotes or highlights some of the ways in which Facebook was founded. There are some unethical things apparently that were done and perhaps there are some things that were done by Mark Zuckerberg himself that today may be illegal. Okay. Most experts on this gift believe that this hundred million dollar gift on the part of Zuckerberg was a failure. This gift was given over the course of five years from 2010 to, to, to 2015, I believe. It represented, as I understand it, 5% of the total budget for the Newark public school system over the course of those five years. So it was a relatively small percentage of the total cost for the school budget. As I said before, when the rich want to help the poor there's classism inherent in it. It's, I'm better than you, so I'm going to help you, and I'm going to dictate to you how I help you. I'm not going to take your input into account. I'm not going to ask for your input. I'm not going to listen to your input. I'm not going to value you by collaborating with you. It's one of the reasons why sometimes homeless people are so reticent to receive help from anybody. Because people want to look at a homeless person and, and dictate, I'm going to do this, this, that, and that for you. You're going to do this, this, and that. And you're going to follow these rules. So 
The rich will often treat the poor like the poor are not human beings. Certainly that they are not equal human beings to them, but rather that they are subhumans. And that is the case with Mark Zuckerberg, in my opinion. Many parents local administrators complained because he didn't consult with them. There were many things that could have been done and that should have been done differently with that money. And it's part of the reason that it is considered a failure the way that money was spent. And there's a whole host of reasons and I'm not going to get into them, but I will highlight one. Much of that money went into building charter schools for the Newark system, Newark public school system which are better than public schools in general, I, I believe, but I don't believe they're that much better. So a lot of the money went to them without a lot of evidence that they are leaps and bones better than regular public schools in terms of really preparing people who are poor their children, preparing their children for a college education. The biggest problem with building these schools wasn't whether or not they're more effective or not. It was that the people who were assigned to administer this money, they decided where the schools would be built and students who were accustomed to walking to and from school, now in order to be able to attend these charter schools, which I said, what I've seen, experts tend to say that they are at least a little bit better than the public school system. Some claim that they're leaps and bounds better than the public school system. Anyway, in order to get into these charter schools, parents had to register online and they wound up getting, having to attend schools that were a long distance from their home. So children had to walk through dangerous neighborhoods, drug dealing neighborhoods, neighborhoods that were uh, really run by gangs and so a lot of students were put in dangerous situations that they would not have been put in had the people who given this money consulted with parents and students and local administrators about how this money was to be spent again the rich when they give to the poor they are not willing to consult with the poor they are not willing to consult with people who are poor because they believe they are superior to people who are poor and that they know what's best for them. But that, ha had they consulted with the people who were supposed to benefit from this money, they would have known to build these charter schools in strategic locations so that students who wanted to go would be able to walk to these schools minimum distance passable so that they do not have to walk through unfamiliar dangerous neighborhoods. Now, the $100 million sounds like a lot of money, but for Mark Zuckerberg, it was really chump change, to be quite frank. The founders of Network, uh, the, 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 the network, network, the net worth of the founders of Facebook total around $100 billion dollars okay so Mark Zuckerberg is Mark Zuckerberg has the lion's share of that money I just looked online today 2017 and he's his estimated net worth is over 70 billion dollars so I don't know what he was worth in 2010 but one hundred million dollars would have probably come up to less than one-tenth of one percent of his net worth at that time I'm guessing so the percentage of what he gave of his net worth was really quite small the one hundred million dollars was really quite a small amount of money it was a small amount of money it was chump change to the majority of us it looks like a lot of money but it was not, look, my toilet just started leaking when I said that. It was confirming what I had just said. That that was chump change. That he doesn't deserve to be uh, treated as this big savior of the Newark schools. It was interesting because I, I just did a really quick 
Google search on this and read two more art, two articles on this. And before the social network came out, he had already planned this, but I don't know how long before the social network came out that he was planning this gift. There seemed to be some evidence that he did honestly want to help the Newark school systems, though I believe he did not actually help the Newark school systems with that money. Facebook told him don't give the money now because this movie's coming out, it makes Facebook look bad, we believe it's going to hurt our stocks. If you give this hundred million dollar gift now, it's, it may be perceived by the public as your effort to try to distract attention from this movie and the fact that this movie makes Facebook look bad and Mark Zuckerberg look bad in his, the manner and the schemes that he went through to found Facebook. And Mark Zuckerberg decided to follow through with the gift anyway. It was very public. It got a lot of press. And according to one article that I read, he had decided that probably 2% or less of the people who go on Facebook every day, every day would wind up seeing this movie. So... He, he basically felt that, I did, I, there's something I didn't write now. So he basically felt that the vast majority of people who use Facebook are not going to see this movie and they're not, and they're not going to assume that he gave the gift to distract attention from the possibly immoral and unethical and today perhaps would be considered illegal manners in which he founded Facebook. Did he ultimately decide that this would help prevent any damage that would come to Facebook from this movie? That the stock would drop? That he would lose money? I don't know. I really don't know. I have no idea. But I do believe that it had that effect. I do believe that his calculating had to have taken that into to consideration. Not just that Facebook users wouldn't see the movie and therefore wouldn't assume that the hundred million dollars was to distract attention but that the people who did see the movie or that the effect of the movie the press and the reporting on it and all the negative that could have come out of the social network that that would likely be suppressed by the press that would come out of giving the hundred million dollars I do believe he was calculating there it's my opinion I believe that the press that he got probably helped increase Facebook stock. I believe that at the very least it prevented the stock from going down. And personally I believe that Mark Zuckerberg made a profit from the hundred million dollars because of all of the massive press that he got surrounding this hundred million dollars. That was overwhelmingly positive that involved a governor and a mayor and Oprah Winfrey show and so I have a lot of mixed emotions about the gift and I have a lot of issues with how the rich give anyway because the rich tend to want to dictate to poor people when they do give because they believe they're superior and you can't help someone if you believe you're superior to them you can't help them effectively you really can't people are not vehicles people are not a, bro a broken toilet or something that can be fixed without consulting this object. People need to be uh, consulted. They know their neighborhoods and they know their needs and they know their circumstances better than everyone. And they must be consulted by those who are trying to help them. So please like, subscribe, share, comment, commercials, recommend my videos, do one or more of those things if you like this video. Thank you. Best wishes.